Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. Welcome to your grammar class. How are you today? Fine, okay, excellent. Michelle Franco, good morning. Okay, that's good. So we are, uh, let me see, in the middle of the week. Yeah, we almost finished this week. <laughs> then we rest during the weekend. Yeah, okay. And this one are the last week of period number two. Okay, so we have week 22, three, four, and five. Then we have the valuations. Okay, then we have vacation. And then we start the period number three. Okay, excellent. Good morning, Fernando Marinero, Lucas. Okay, Nicole, good morning. Okay, excellent. So the last class, we didn't finish one of the exercises of unit number 17. Yes, that is this one. Okay, exactly this last part. Yeah, this one is, uh, let me see what I'm for writing, is the point number five. We didn't finish this part, so we complete today. This one you have on page, um, let me see, I have the second part of the book. Okay, 208, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's start with this one, okay? And then we continue with the next unit, that is unit 18. Okay, part number five. In that case, grammar for writing. So you write about indefinite quantity of things. Yeah, that's mean when you don't know if you have three, four, etc. Okay, writers use the quantifiers some, any, a lot of, a little, a few, much, and many, with nouns, and when they write about indefinite amounts of things. For example, okay. We use a lot of, much or, or many to talk about big quantities and little and a few to talk about small quantities. And we have two sentences here as example. Ken knows a lot of Spanish. That's mean this person okay, can speak Spanish, yeah? But he knows only a little Portuguese, okay? Maybe this person, okay, pronounce some words in Portuguese. Uh, Nimita, I think this one is a pronunciation, cooks many Indian dishes, but she cooks only a few Mexican dishes, okay? That's mean maybe um, she has different knowledge, okay? About Indian food, but not Mexican food, yes? Okay, for that reason, we use this part. Use some to write about plural count in no count nouns when the exact amount of the noun isn't important, or maybe, okay, you don't know. Soraida plays some great Mexican songs on the guitar. She doesn't play any Mexican songs on the piano, yeah? That's mean for you, it's not important the quantity, yes? So you only mention, okay? But it's not important if, let me see, this person plays three, four, five songs, etc. okay? So this one is not important for you. So let's see, now in that part, we discuss about English and Arabic long words, yeah? Okay, so let's see, I am from Oman. You know that this one is a country. Okay, we speak Arabic. We have a lot of English words in our language. Classical Arabic doesn't have any English long words, but modern Arabic has a lot. In that case, okay, we circle the quantifiers, okay, that show us big quantities. And we underline the quantifiers that show us a small quantity. For example, a lot of. Okay, in that case, this one is a big quantity of words. For that reason, we circle. And in this sentence, we use a few clothing words, okay? A few show us, okay, a small quantity, yeah? Okay, for example, we say jeans, jacket, and t-shirt. We also use many English computer words, such as format, save, and file. Okay, in that part, what is the quantifier? Many. This one is... um. Let me see for big quantities or small quantities in that case. What do you think? Okay, many. Big quantity or a small quantity of something. We also use many English computer words. Okay, that's mean this one is. 
Okay, this one is a big quantity of something. So we circle, yeah? Okay. There are a few English words for food in our language. Okay, this quantifier, a few. This one is for big quantities or a small quantities of things. A few in that case. There are a few English words for food in our language, such as hot dog, hamburger, and ice cream. Okay, big or small? Small. A small, so in that case, we underline, yeah? Okay, let's see. A lot of young people use the word cool. There are many Arabic words in other languages too. Okay, in that case, many. Okay, this one show. Big quantity or a small quantity? Big. There are many. Okay, big, exactly. So we circle. Okay, we have another one here. A lot of young people, a lot of big quantity or, or a small quantity of something. A lot of young big. people. Okay, this one is big. So we circle, yeah? Okay. So let's see, some Arabic words in English are coffee and sofa. In that case, some. Okay, big or small quantity of something. In that case, we mention only two, yeah? Coffee and sofa. So this one is? Small. Small. Small, exactly. Okay, not many people, not many in that case. A big quantity or a small quantity? Small. No. A small, okay, so let's see. Not many people know that these words originally came from Arabic, okay? Not many. In that case, okay, this one is a small. So we underline, yeah? Okay, that's good. And in that form, we finish unit 17, yes? Okay, now we pass to unit 18. And in that case, we discuss about articles, yes? Okay, so remember, the articles we use with countable nouns and we have some specific cases, cases that we use. Okay, so let's see, unit 18, article a and and da. Okay, changes and risk. Okay, grammar in the real world. Do you like to take risk? Yes or no? Okay, for example, if you like to, let me see, develop uh, some adventure sports, okay, or some recent sports. Yes. Okay, do you like to take a risk? Okay, for example, let me see an sport that is risking. Let me see. Okay, mention one. Okay. Surfing. Yeah, it's possible. It's a risk in sport. What else? Skateboarding. Yeah, it's another one. Yes. Okay, read the magazine article about how people respond to risk. When you make a decision, what the steps do you take? Okay, so I think um, this one is similar to a personal opinion. Okay, not all of us. Okay take risks in different activities, maybe in different situations, yeah? Okay, because other ones are kind of shy, yeah? And other ones, okay, we are very adventure, yes? Ah, okay, thank you, Nati. So let's see, I tell you right now, yeah? Okay, so decisions in risky times. Okay, for example, nowadays do you know it's a risky time, okay, during this year or during this century? For example, we have different risky activity, yeah? We have sports, okay, decisions. In some cases, a risky uh, decision. Imagine if you, let me see, you have the opportunity to travel another country and study, let me see, in Holland. Okay, this one is an example. So you take this decision and you say to your parent, okay, mom and dad, I want to, to travel to Holland because I want to study in that country. So I decide that I go. Yeah, this one is a risky decision, yeah? And maybe your parents say, no, but you need to be here, okay? And maybe your mom cry, et cetera, yeah? But this one is your decision and you say, okay, I go, yes? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me check this one. Decisions in risky time. Let's see, I start with the first paragraph and then you help me, yeah? In uncertain or difficult times, it's sometimes hard 
for people to make decisions. For example, when the economy is bad, okay, people worry about money and their jobs. Some take risk to try to make things better. Other don't take any risk and hope to stay safe. But uh, for example, Guy Burgers of the University of Colorado says, people deal with difficult times differently. Okay. The last year was a, a risky year because uh, let me see, all of us are at home. Okay, we're at home. And also, okay, the economy is very, very bad. Okay, because the majority of, let me see, companies or maybe a store close. Okay, and some families, okay, for example, mom and dad uh, don't work, okay, or didn't work during this time and decide to, let me see, to start a new business, okay? For that reason, this one is a risky decision, okay? The last year was difficult for all the world. Now, okay, it's similar, yeah? But it's better than the last year. Okay, Natalia Torres, continue with the second paragraph. Some people. Some people become ostrich, and ostrich doesn't like risk. For example, Connor is nervous about the economy. He doesn't buy anything expensive, like a car, since the car he has still works, he doesn't look for a new job, even though he hates the job he has. He knows the job he has now is stable. Okay, so let's see this one. Some people become ostriches. Okay, what does it mean, this one? Okay, an ostrich doesn't like rigs. Yeah, okay, if you see the ostrich only, let me see, take the food, eat, okay, walk, and let me see in the place that, that this kind of animals are, etc. Okay, this one is an animal that mom, don't move if you don't move, yeah? Okay, so let's see. For example, Connor is nervous about the economy. He doesn't buy anything expensive. So this one is one of the, maybe the risk that you take, okay, you don't buy anything, yeah? Okay, like a car, since the car ha he has still works, okay? He looks for a new job, etc. okay? But he hates the job, and he knows that the job he has now is stable, yeah? For that case, we can consider this person a kind of ostrich. It's possible, yeah? Because they don't like to take risks. okay? Let's see. Next paragraph. Let me see. Help me, please. Okay, Abby. Others... Others don't take any risk and hope to stay safe. Chris Borges of the University of Colorado says people. Okay. Team. Yes. Okay. They are with difficult times differently. Some people uh, become ostrich and ostrich uh, does not like risk. For example, okay. canary tables. Okay, I mean, the kind of it's the next paragraph. Okay, you have on pay on line 25. Uh, uh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I was it's, it's expensive. Uh -huh. Okay, others become rock climbers. Yeah, uh, okay, <laughs> others become rock climbers. They love taking risks. For example, Carl found a new job and makes a lot more money. Okay, thank you. So others become rock climbers. Okay, this one is the second. Okay, uh, let me see name that we can okay put to different people. Yeah, the first one are the ostriches. This one is the rock climbers. Okay, they love taking risk. Maybe you decide. Okay, if you are rock climber, for example, Kayla found a new job and makes a lot a lot of money. Yeah, but the job doesn't have good health insurance and it's short term. That's mean this one is for a short period. Yeah, not all the time, maybe for hours or maybe uh, one month, two months, etc. She's in worried because she enjoys taking risk. Yeah. Okay. The last one, the last part, Valentina Navas. Finally. Finally, some become analysts. For example, Arnel looks carefully at her choice before she makes an important decision. She decides to sell her house and put the money into a business. She now she can make a lot of money with the business. Some risks are worth taking and others are dangerous. It's important to know which type of risk taker you are before you make big decisions. Okay, excellent. And the paragraph mentioned that there are 
others that are analysts, okay? For example, okay, Lorena looks carefully at her choices, okay? Maybe her choices of food or clothes, uh, let me see, of work, etc. yeah? She decides to sell her house and put the money into a business. This one is a good decision, yeah? Because, uh, let me see, this person increased, okay? All the money that uh -huh. she has, okay? She knows that she can make a lot of money with the business, okay? Some risks are worth taking and others are dangerous. The most important things here is that you decide, okay? If the risk that you take, this one is a big decision, okay? Is good, or maybe this one increase your money or maybe increase in something else, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Now, you decide if you are an ostrich or maybe you are a rock climber or you are an analyst. Okay, right in the chat, what do you think? What kind of person do you consider you are? Okay, so if you are analyst, if you are rock climber, or maybe if you are an ostrich, okay, it's, it's good, yeah? Because all of us have our own decision, yeah? It's possible. Okay, maybe check your connection, yeah? Okay, so let's see. So let me check. You are a rock climber, you are an analyst, or you are an ostrich. So you decide, yeah? What kind of person do you consider you are? Yes? Okay, so you write the answer or your decision in the chat, yeah? Okay, because some of us, okay, are person that take risk, but not all, yes? Because maybe we are shy or maybe we are scared of different decisions, etc. yes? Okay, so let's see. Um, guys, do you see the screen? And do you listen? Yes? Okay, maybe you check your connection, yes? Okay, so you go out and you enter one more time. Okay, please. So let's see, okay, do you consider that you are? Okay, so that's good, yeah? So let's see, okay. Maybe you decide you are an analyst, that's good. You are a climber, that's good. Okay, do you consider that you are in a switch? That's good, yeah? Okay, because this one is a kind of attitude in some cases, yeah? Okay, so maybe I'm scared, okay, to take different decisions, but in some cases, no. For example, uh, let me see if you go to a canopy, okay? Do you know that this one is a kind of a fort? Okay, so you do you decide to, let me see, develop this activity, yes? Okay, for example, if you go to uh, this restaurant, what is the name? That we have a big, um, let me see new game here. Picnic, I think. Picnic house, something like that, yeah? So we have a new game here and you decide to go, so you are a risk person, yeah? Okay, that's good, excellent. So take a risk, it's something that you do, okay? When there is a possibility of being hurt or maybe a loss or defeat in some cases, yeah? Okay, an ostrich here is a person who ignores reality or doesn't accept that through, okay? But this one is not your case. Okay, a stable is when you are safe, okay? Not like it to change, okay? For example, nowadays we are stable. We are at home, okay? We love our lives, we love our family, and this one is okay. Short term, not for a long time, okay? That's been a short period of time. Analyst, someone who studies or examines something in detail detail, okay, such as finances, computer system, or the economy, okay, for example, if you're an analyst, okay, you analyze every word of a person, okay, you analyze every attitude of a person, yes, okay, this one is an analyst person, and if you see in that part, okay, we check uh, the articles, yes, okay, the articles, uh, and or the, so we discover what is the use of this one, but first one, we check the comprehension, yeah? Okay, we circle the correct answer from the magazine. Making decisions during difficult time is A, B, or C. Different from everyone, always hard or easy for everyone. What do you think is the best answer? Okay, making decisions during difficult times is different for everyone, always hard or easy for everyone? What do you think? 
easy for everyone according to the paragraph? No, yeah, always hard. Okay, so you say that it's always hard or different for everyone. Okay, if we say it according to the paragraph, okay, this one is different for everyone. Okay, it depends of the type of personality that you have. Okay, if you are an ostrich, you like to take risk, don't like to take risk, or look at your choices before you make a decision. What do you think? A, B, C. B. B, okay, you don't like to take risk, exactly. Okay, number three. If you are a rock climber, you like to take risks, don't like, or look at your choices before you make a decision. Okay, you like to take risk, exactly. Okay, and number four, if you are an analyst, you, what is the best option, A, B, or C? If you are an analyst person, C. Okay, C. You look at your choices before you make a decision. Exactly. That means you analyze every situation. And, okay, if you consider that this one is okay, you take a good decision. Yeah? Okay, that's good. So let's see. Let me clear this part. Now, okay, we notice which article uh, or and comes before these words the first time they appear okay find the words in the text and check the correct article ostrich okay uh, or and ostrich in that case is okay and and okay car ah uh. Okay, new job. Uh, uh, Important decision. And. Um, okay, uh, and business? Ah. Uh, uh, ah, okay. So let's see, exactly. Okay, what is the difference? Because the words begins with vowel, yeah? Okay, some of the word begins with vowel and you use N and the other ones with consonant, we use A, uh, yeah? Okay, so now let's check the explanation of the articles. Articles are and in da. This one is the grammar presentation. And we use what we call indefinite article. Yeah. So we call these three articles indefinite articles. Okay. For example, Claire is an analyst. She thinks carefully before she makes a decision, especially when that decision is an important one. Yeah. Okay. Remember, these articles, ah. And in the, okay, we can name indefinite articles. Yes? Okay, but that is definite articles. Okay, so let's see. Now let's check the usage. Okay, use a or an with singular count nouns. Okay, only in singular, not plural. Yeah, she made a decision and analyst. Both are in singular. Yeah, use a when the nouns begins with a consonant. Okay. Decision, this one, we have the, the sound of a consonant, D, yeah? Okay, use an when the nouns begin with a vowel. Analyst, in that case, the word begins with a vowel and the sound is as a vowel, yeah? Use a before words such as adjectives or adverbs that begin with a consonant sound. Okay, that's mean if we have an adverb, or we have an adjective, okay? And then we have a noun, you use the article a, okay? But check if the, uh, let me see, if this one begins with a consonant sound. For example, Tony found a great apartment. So in that case, we have an adverb, yeah? That in this case is great. But the next noun, okay, begin with a, okay, with a vowel that is an apartment. So we use a, okay, a great. If you see the sound, great. This one is consonant sound, yeah? Use a before words that begin with you when the you makes as you sound, okay? James went to a university, universal, okay? It's different, okay, the pronunciation. So if the sound of these words, okay, begins or makes a you sound, you use the article a, 
yeah? James went to a university. Okay, but maybe you say, okay, teacher, but the rule says that if a word begins with a vowel, okay, we use an. Yes, but this one is an exception, yeah? James went to a university, okay? Because the sound is U, okay? You use the article a. Universal, a universal, yes? Okay, we have the definite article da. You can use da before singular or plural count nouns and before no count nouns. The job is a good one. The choices were interesting. The information is very useful. Okay, in that case, job is singular noun. Choices, this one is a plural. Information is singular. So we use the article da with both, singular and plural, yes? Okay, using a or an and da. Use a and to introduce a person or think for the first time to a listener. When you mention the person or thing again, use the. This one is very important, yeah? Tom bought a car. So the listener doesn't know about this car, yeah? So in that case, it's the first time that you listen. So we use the article a or maybe an. But, okay, the second time, the car was not very expensive. In that case, this one is the second time that you mention, okay, the object or maybe the person or maybe the animal, etc. For that reason, we use the car. If we say the complete sentences, okay, Tom bought a car, the car was not very expensive. Okay, that's me. The first time that we use the noun, we use the article a. But if we mention a second time, we use the article Da, yes, okay, now the listener knows about this car. Use da to talk about specific people or things that both the listener and the speaker know about. Okay, the president discussed the plan. That's me, you and me knows about this one. Okay, knows about the president, knows about the plan. The moon and the stars were beautiful last night. Okay, that's mean you and me know about that the moon and the star, okay, were beautiful last night. The game was interesting. I agree, okay, the speaker and the listener are thinking of the same game, yeah? That's mean you have the same idea. For that reason, we use the article da. Yes, okay, let's continue. In that case, we pass to grammar application, this one is the exercise 2.1 in sentences with a or an. Yes? Okay, complete the sentences with a or an. A road climber takes a risk easily. Yeah? Number two. What do you think? Okay. What is the article that we use? Analyst thinks about choices before he or she decides. Yeah. Okay, and. Yes, okay, we write here and okay. Okay, an analyst thinks about choices. Okay. Three, ostrich doesn't like to take risk and wants to be safe. In that Hi. case, okay, so we say that this one is and okay, thank you. Number four, Connor doesn't look for. Uh, okay, okay, a job because he already has one. Yeah, okay. Uh. Kayla was glad she got. An, an. Okay, she got an interview, yeah. Okay, she got an interview. Lorena owns. Okay, a business, yeah. She made, uh, okay, uh, she made a decision uh, about the business, yes. She decided to sell her house and rent, um, okay, uh, an apartment, yeah. I hope to go to, uh, uh, okay, a university in Europe. Exactly. Remember the rule. This one is an exception. Yeah. I want to go to. Um, okay. An um, information section and talk to. An academic advisor. Okay. An academic advisor. Yes. 
Okay. Excellent. So in that case, we use both, yeah, and and on. But remember, deceptions, e university, okay, e universal, okay. This one begins with the sound u. For that reason, we use a, no an. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So maybe yes, you finish. Okay, that's good. So let me check. Uh, let me see an exercise here. Okay. So this part, this one, okay? So we have different sentences here, okay? And we try to um, decide in which part we write an article. We have the first one. I was in the Paris last year and I visited Eiffel Tower. Okay, it is necessary that we use an article. I was in the Paris, okay, last year and I visited Eiffel Tower. Okay, let's see. Let's analyze the first one, yeah? Okay, I was in Paris. In that case, we don't use the article da. Okay, I was in the Paris, no, I was in Paris last year and I visited, okay, in that case, okay, you know that this place is located in that city. Yes, for that reason, we use the article da. I visited the Eiffel Tower, yeah? Okay, next one. My favorite fruit is the bananas. Okay, do you think this sentence is correct? My favorite fruit is the bananas. Okay, what do you think? In Spanish, the majority of the time we mention the article la, le, yes. Okay, even when we mention a proper noun. Okay, la Sara me dijo, yeah, we use this expression. But it's not correct, yeah. Okay, my favorite fruit is the bananas. What is the correct sentence? My favorite fruit is bananas, okay. So in that case, we eliminate the article da because this one is the first time that we mention, okay? It's not necessary to use the article, yes? If we translate into Spanish, mi fruta favorita es la banana. Yeah, we say this one in Spanish. Yeah, but in English, no, okay? We only say bananas. Okay, next one. Sorry, she's not here. She's at the work at the moment. Okay, let's see this one. Sorry, she's not here. She's at the work at the moment. Mm. Okay, let's see. Okay, sorry, she's not here, she's at work. Exactly, we don't use the article da, okay? Aha, uh -huh. okay, we take out da, yeah. Okay, I met her when I was flying to United States of America. That's me, USA. Okay, I met her when I was flying to. Hmm, let me check this one. Okay, I met her when I was flying to the United States of America. Yes, okay, in that case it is necessary because this one is part of the name of the country. Yes, okay, exactly, so we use the article that. I would really like to visit Atlantic Ocean. I would really like to visit Atlantic Ocean, okay. The Atlantic Ocean. Exactly, okay, the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, we have, okay, the article da. Could you please open a book so we can start our class? Okay, could you please open a book so we can start our class? Okay, maybe open a book. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Open the book, okay? Because if I say, could you please open a book? Okay, you open maybe math book, okay? English book, grammar book, okay? But if you see specifically, could you please open the book? That's mean, okay? We mentioned the book that belongs to the class, yeah? 
Okay. So we can start our class. Yes. Okay. I great stay rail and found myself back in the real world. Okay. In that case. And uh, da. Ah, okay. Da. Ah, okay. Ah, stay rail. Okay, because we mentioned only one. Okay, I great stay rail and found myself back in the real world. Okay, and the last one. He is a best person I've ever met. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> he is the best person. Ah, okay, he is the best person, exactly. Okay, we don't say he is the best person, no, okay. He's the best person, okay? Because we use the superlative and remember, the superlative rule says that it is necessary that you use the article ta, yeah? Okay, the definite article, yes. He is the best person I ever met. Okay, excellent, yes, that's good. So let's see, let's continue, yeah? Okay, let's see. Next one, let me see this part. Okay, page 214. Okay, this one is the exercise 2.2. And in that case, we check the pronunciation. Yes, okay, we pronounce a and n with a weak sound. Okay, so that's mean this one is not as strong because we don't stress the articles. Okay, similar to the words. For example, when you say decision, decision, okay, you stress. Uh, let me see. Um, information, information, so you stress, but the article, no, because this one is one letter, okay, so you say it with a big sound, huh? and yes, so we say a decision, a business, a risk, an analyst, an ostrich, an opinion, yeah, and in some cases, okay, we don't pronounce, it's the pen of the word that we have, yeah, when we, uh, let me see, joint with another word, okay, we don't pronounce, so we say a decision, take okay, a business, a risk, an analyst, an ostrich, an opinion, yeah? In that case, we join these two words. Okay, let me show you this one. An opinion, yeah? An ostrich, yes? An analyst. It's similar that you pronounce only one word, yeah? You don't separate. An analyst, an ostrich, an opinion. No, okay, so you say together. An analyst, an ostrich, an opinion, yes? Okay, and it's easy. Okay, so let's see. Now, we, let me see, complete this part. This one is an interview and we complete the sentences with N or N. Yes, we have the reporter and we have the student. Okay, hi, my name is Steve. I'm a reporter with the New Times. Okay, and I have some questions for you about taking risk. Can you describe a decision that was really difficult for you? Yes, I made. Okay, in that case, what is the article that we use? Yes, I made. Ah. Okay. Yes, I made. Okay. A decision to leave my job. Okay. Do you think there was? Ah. Okay. Do you think there was a risk in that decision? Yes, there was. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Yes, there was a risk because I left. Uh, uh, okay, because I left a good job uh, and I don't know about the new one yet. Okay, of the three types of risk takers. Uh huh. And ostrich. Okay. Mm. Okay, an ostrich. A rock climber. Uh, okay, a rock climber. An analyst. An okay. analyst. Okay, an analyst. Which type are you? Oh, I'm. Um, mm. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I'm an analyst. Yes. Okay. Let me move this part. And we complete this dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Do you think analysts always make good decision? Yes, because. Um, um, um. Okay. Yes, because. Okay. An analyst looks at all the choices carefully. How do you think? Um, um, okay, um, an ostrich manages stress. Mm, well, um, okay, an ostrich makes sure everything in his or her life is stable. Do you know someone who is? 
Okay, a rock climber. I do. My sister is uh, a rock climber. Okay, let's continue next hour. Yeah. Okay, at eleven. Thank you for participating. Bye, Miss. Bye. See you at eleven.